What's up YouTube, Nick here, and today we're going to check out how to install TurboSyn and get it running on Windows. So let's dive right in and let's make it happen. Uh, if you don't know what TurboSynth is, it's an old school uh, modular synthesizer. came out in 1988. Uh, it was created by Digidesign, the guys behind Pro Tools, and it's probably most known for being used by Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails on the albums like uh, Broken and the Downward Spiral, uh, most notably on the guitars. Uh, so if you're interested in doing some similar effects like that, um, this is what he used to do it in. And there's some newer stuff that you can use that you can get sounds pretty close to what TurboSynth does. And there's like Isotope Trash 2, like Melda Productions, uh, and Wave Shaper is pretty cool as well but um, there's something about TurboSynth that's just pretty cool. So let's see what we need to install and use uh, TurboSynth. So I will provide all the links that you need in the description box. So go ahead and download this first one, Mac OS 9 and App Installer. You might as well download TurboSynth and file type while you're waiting for this one to download because it's a little bit bigger. Put them wherever you want and let's go and let's make this happen. So, after you install Mac OS 9 App Installer, let's shut this down and let's load up Mac OS 9. So, when I try to load it with the actual application here, it doesn't load for me. But if I go and I just load Sheep Saver, so I just click on Sheep Saver and it loads up. I get a couple error messages, but it doesn't seem to affect what I need to do with. Uh, with Sheep Saver and TurboSynth. So there's one thing that I had to do to get the sound working. So go double click on this Mac OS 9 and go into system folder and then go into extensions here. And then over here you'll see like an Apple audio something. Uh, it'll be Apple audio. You'll take that, you'll drag it and drop it into the trash. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it, but this is where you do it in the extensions folder uh, from the system folder. And then drag and drop the Apple Audio extension into here. And then control click, empty trash. Okay. Add something else in there, empty that. And then restart. Restart Sheep Saver. So we'll reload it. All right. And then we want to go back to the control panel and then go to sound and make sure you're using built in for the output. All right. So we're set to actually hear something in TurboSynth. The next step for you will be to actually install TurboSynth and file type. So you actually have to. Uh, copy those over so I wonder if you can just do that no nope, you can't do it like that so you have to go to this PC and then navigate to wherever you have your stuff installed so there we go I navigated to where well not installed but downloaded and then copy over so this is the sample that I want to show you how to convert to actually be able to open in TurboSynth and this is TurboSynth and file type so let's copy over all this stuff here and you can see it removes it from my desktop so let's get rid of that alright so then what you want to do is just double click on this uh, choose whatever folder you want to install it to alright install it and then you can like uh, create a shortcut and copy those to the desktop to open them easily. So install both the apps. You can do that same thing with TurboSynth, right? Double click on it, uh, choose where you want to install it. I install it into the applications folder. You click choose, it'll install, and then you can uh, run it. So the next step will be to actually open, be able to convert this file to be able to open it inside TurboSynth. So let's go to TurboSynth. Let me show you what I mean. So let's insert a sound module. Double click on it. And you can see I can only see this guitar AIF file. This is the only one that I can see and open. I can't see guitar 2 AIF. But that's easy to fix. So
So let's open up this file type application. This is very handy. So first thing you'll want to do is open up an actual AIF file that was created with TurboSynth. So what I did was, let's close this, let's delete this. So let's insert an oscillator. Let's uh, make it make some kind of basic sound. All right, uh, let's drag the output or let's patch a cable to the output so we have to hear something. All right, and now let's save output as and I'll name that output. Make sure it's an AIF file that you output it as. All right, output, save that. Perfect. Now you might not see it right away because the desktop won't update, but that's fine. Now go back and let's open this file type application. Now click add file here and then find this output file that we just created. So click add file. And then since I already have it here in my list, let me edit this list and let me remove this. Uh, let me delete this. All right, okay. So when you open this file, you'll see you'll get this add this to data paste. So let's do that. go click OK perfect I have audio file now remove that we don't need it now let's add the file that we actually want to open in turbo since so that's guitar 2 AIF and what we'll do is we'll change this to this AIF file that we uh, just, you just click change that's all you do. You just make sure you have the change file type to selected to AIF audio file that we just created. You click change and you can see the icon even changes. Um, so let's close this. We don't need this. Let's get rid of this. Let's go back and let's insert a sound module. Now we can see guitar 2 AIF. All right. So now we can actually open it in uh, turbo synth and do stuff to it like we can actually convert this into an oscillator so I think that was around six you have to know like um, around how many Hertz the fundamental is eh. so the timing is kind of the same as the original file Sounds pretty weird. And what we can do is play it along with the. We'll, we'll need to insert a mixer if you want to get uh, multiple things going. You have to get a mixer going, and then you can patch multiple sources into it, and then you can adjust uh, the levels of them. And we actually need to load a sample into here, so let's do that. All right. And then we can go further do some more editing if we want uh, let's delete these uh, let's patch this in can we patch oh, only one input available so let's move this around a little bit let's add another waveform let's put this in let's patch this in patch that in and now we can go we can distort this a little bit by uh, mangling the waveform a bit here same thing over here you can distort this waveform a little bit. Alright, so now you start getting some weird, funky sounds pretty quickly here in Turbo Sim. And I'm still figuring out how to use it and stuff, and anytime you make a change, it's gonna stop playing audio. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of how you get TurboSynth running on Windows. Um, actually, at least that's how I got it running on here. I don't know if you might run into any problems. If you do, you know, um, post a comment and I'll try to help you out to get it running. But that's basically the gist of it. And now what we can do is we can save output. If you want, we can save this to our desktop here directly now I have it right on my desktop I can import it into my DAW here if I want to
and start messing around with it some more if I want. That's pretty cool. So that's TurboSynth, basically. That's how you uh, get it running on Windows. That's how you can save a file with it. That's kind of basic usage with it. I just basically got it uh, going, so I don't know how to use it that well yet. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting modules, interesting sounds. Um, so I think like speeding up, slowing things down, and using the wave shaper will be fun to mangle uh, sounds and create interesting soundscapes. So if you're interested in using TurboSynth, that's how you get it running on Windows. I hope you found this video uh, useful. Um, if I figure out how to get some cool sounds uh, using it, I'll do another tutorial on that or maybe even like a basic uh, usage tutorial uh, on how to get some basic sounds with it if you're interested, you know, leave a comment and stuff like that. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Ring the bell if you like the videos and the content that I provide on here. I will see you soon on another video. I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye.